We all know that the product of two numbers is equal to their HCF into their LCM. What about the, the relationship between product of three numbers, their LCM and their SCF? So the relationship here uh, becomes a little bit uh, complicated, but it's still worthwhile to remember this uh, formula, the, remember this equation because questions are asked uh, based on this formula. So the product of three numbers is actually equal to their LCM, the LCM of the three numbers divided by their SCF, the SCF of three numbers multiplied by the pairwise SCF of the three numbers. So it's SCF of AB. So we take the make all possible pairs AB, BC and CA, take their SCF and then uh, multiply with this uh, division. Okay, so that is the formula here. And let us just try to use it on a very, very uh, simple uh, example. Okay, so let's say that our three numbers are actually equal to 9. And uh, remember that the problem uh, in this case, if you are being asked to deal with a question related to three numbers, the numbers would typically be simple. The, the SCF and LCM involved would not be really big. So this this uh, question actually is not. Uh, if you apply even if you apply this equation, it would not be very very uh, rigorous mathematics. So definitely, if you get a question on a product of three numbers and their SCF and their LCM, you should definitely uh, apply uh, attempt that problem because it would be very very simple. So here what we are doing that we are factorizing the number. So it is not something uh, that is very complicated. We already know how to do this. We are breaking this 12 for example into all, all possible factors. So this is okay and this one here I just write it but it's not really uh, required. We can we can leave out that that one. Okay, so now what we do is that the product of three numbers is of course we can find that out the product of three numbers is actually equal to 1080 and LCM of these three numbers. So how do we find the LCM? What do we do? So we take the numbers which are common only once the factors which are common only once. Okay, so that is the trick here. So these three threes we only will take once. Okay. Uh, this, this three, there is no other pairing. So we still have to take this. But out of these three, these two threes, we will take only one. Out of these two twos, we will take only one. Of course, this two remains unpaired. It is not combined with anyone. So we ha still have to take that. So this would be the, uh, this would be the LCM. Okay, so let's just uh, write it to make it clear. Okay, so this is three, three is a nine to the 18, 18 to the uh, 36 and this becomes 180 okay now we have found the LCM let's move on to the SCF SCF of AB so this LCM is 180 SCF of AB will take the factors which are common between A and B so now we are trying to find the SCF so we'll take the factors common between A and B so what is common between A and B nothing is common so uh, what we'll do is that we'll just take the factor 1 Okay, that is why I, I kept the one here. You don't have to write it. I just did it so that when we come to this, uh, we have something to write here, <laughs> which is one. Then an SCF of BC, so factors common between B and C. We know that there is a factor common here, which is two. And then SCF of CA, C and A. Between C and A, we know there was a factor common, which is three. Now, what about SCF of ABC? Now, SCF of ABC means that factors which are common to all three A, B and C, we have to write here. But are there any factors common between these three? There are no factors common between these three. So, of course, the only factor common is 1. So, we write 1 here. So, on this side, we have 18 into 6, 180 into 6. Let's just do this multiplication. Okay. And this comes out to be 1080 as well okay so our formula actually holds and it is a true formula now if you think more about it you will be able to understand why this formula holds and of course there, there is a separate proof which we have done in another class but for the purposes of solving the aptitude problems we can simply remember this formula know how to apply it in the in the real problem one of these things will not be given so for example you might be asked to find the product or you might be asked to find the LCM Okay, and, and other things are actually uh, given that that is the typical question which would be asked in such cases. So you should know this formula and know how to apply it. Okay, Thank you.